not ready, y'all. Yo. You ready? Come on. I'm not ready. Let's go, baby. We don't have a lot of time. You messing around. Um, I'm Zakai Free. <laughs> this is uh, Ananda Free. I'm Ananda Free, also known as A Free Designs. Right. And um, <laughs> we're here representing Sweet Weirdness. Yes. And um, we want to say hi to all the sweet weirdos out there. Peace. And if you don't know who, who that is or what that is, we're going to introduce the concept to you now. Or talk about us as sweet weirdos. Okay. So when yeah. did you first know that you were a sweet weirdo? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're talking about being a sweet weirdo. And you mm -hmm. were just getting ready to say... Um, You're my favorite sweet weirdo. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh. You are. You're like... One of the most authentic people that I know. Mm -hmm. I and, when I was born. and you live from this place that is so genuine, right? So, like when we talk about sweet weirdos, sweet weirdos are people who are living their most authentic self expression mm. from their heart. Okay. Right? So, um, yeah, and so you do that. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. that I've ever met that you come in contact with is like, you know, Zakai Free is heart centered, loving, creative, also rebellious, right? So Sometimes I think there's barefoot. Yeah, but I'm not just even I'm not just like talking about you, but I'm also speaking about being a sweet weirdo. Like oh, yeah. sweet weirdos, they march to the beat of their own drum. Right. So we're not conformists exactly. in any way, shape or form. Yeah. No, no. Um it's the ultimate expression of self-love, really. You know, knowing who you are, um, representing that in, mm -hmm. in whatever way that is, mm -hmm. and and being authentic. I think that's what that's what a sweet weirdo is all about. Um, yeah. And then not necessarily like sometimes people want to reach for the sky and think about somebody who is like up here, mm. like you know, a, like a weirdo, right? Erica so, Badu or uh, yeah, like uh, I don't know who Erica else Badu. Considered weird. Um, um, I would definitely say Anderson Pack is a sweet, Anderson Pack is a okay. sweet weirdo. Okay. But also, you can be weird and not sweet. Yes. Like uh, yes, Ozzy but, Osbourne or um, one of them other people. Right, but that's head off w, bats and that kind that's, of stuff. That's W E I. That's W E I. That's W E I R D. Right. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Because exactly. our weird is different. W Y R D. Right. Which so is that's the original. That's the original spelling. Spelling and meaning. Well, the original spelling is W Y R D, and the original meaning for those folks out here who don't know, it means fate or destiny. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, really calling on the sweetness of a person's fate, their mm -hmm. destiny, right? And so. You reach your destiny by being true to yourself. Or you could be authentically living in it by being true. True, true to yourself because if you're not being true to yourself then you're not living in your destiny well, there it is maybe you know maybe some people's destiny is too not but that's not what we want to focus on i guess mm -hmm. are you so serious <laughs> i'm not being serious i was waiting for you to say something it's else never for me to say go ahead <laughs> so when did, when did you know you were a sweet weirdo um <coughs> but i didn't really necessarily lay claim to it until i think you know i had moved to belize and kind of like started the whole jungle experience and mm started realizing I was, you know, more of a, um, an artist or a farmer or something like that. An urban bushman. Yeah, yeah, than I was, you know, just some guy from D.C. or <coughs> preacher's kid or whatever, you know. Just... So you were saying? Oh, about being um, a sweet, sweet weirdo. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, probably spending time in the, in the jungle and getting away from um, just the, the everyday kind of work stuff and, you know, just realizing I love nature and I, I value um, uh, just having fun. People don't really, when you when you get to a certain age, you don't even you're not supposed to use the word fun anymore. Like that's supposed to be just only for kids. And I, I'm like, I want to have fun all the time. So, mm -hmm. you know, I guess that's kind of my um, my awakening into it, and and then claiming the title of artist and being a creative, which you know is a common term now. But you know, when I started saying I was an artist, I didn't really know that. I thought I was. I don't know what I was. It's, I think that's part of being a sweet weirdo, weirdo, actually, is, you know, claiming who you are and not letting other, other people tell you who mm. you may be. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I may have come off as a serious person or some kind of a politician or an angry man or whatever. But really, I actually, I just like to have fun and create. Mm. Yeah. So, like, for me, I think having children. Mm-hmm. And um, being 
more devotional in my spiritual practice mm -hmm. is what actually what led me in the direction of really claiming my identity um, as a sweet weirdo. Okay. You know, when the name came to me for the company, like t almost 10 years ago, it was mm -hmm. like, okay, sweet weirdness. And mm -hmm. so I felt like, you know, over the last several years, like I wouldn't have had gotten that pull for that name if I wasn't a sweet weirdo. Mm -hmm. Right. And yep. so for me, um, being a sweet weirdo is really not letting the bitterness of this world consume me. Ooh. There's so much. Um, we could talk about the things, all the things, the hatred, the racism. Yeah, everybody knows what those all are. Of so, the it's things, so many. All of those things, just turn the news right? on. If you don't know what that is, <laughs> just, just look at the news, <coughs> go to somebody's Twitter feed. You'll, right. you'll, all the things are there. So we could talk about those things. And those things are the things that have not made me become jaded or bitter mm. so it's allowed my heart to be <clears throat> um soft mm -hmm. still mm -hmm. and um and expansive mm -hmm. and connected mm -hmm. you know so i feel like my sweet weird power my sweet weird superpower would be um being vulnerable okay okay being open mm -hmm. um doing my best to be Ooh, when you touch my leg like that, sir. Hey, yeah. it's electric. We already have. Boogie, kids. boogie, boogie. <laughs> you know they said that song was about a vibrator. That's another topic. See, <laughs> this is what sweet weirdness is about. Just tangents. But I will say that, um, <laughs> you know, uh, I really enjoy. Um, I used to walk around with a notebook all the time, just write down little ideas and things all the time. I mm -hmm. thought that was kind of weird. Nobody else was doing that. You know my social circles and stuff. I think I'm the only person. did do that. No, in my social circles, I'm saying. I'm saying. No one you... I was around at the time. Where where's your was notebook? writing anything down? Where was it? Yeah. I had like a little small notebook I kept in my back pocket. <laughs> like one of those little one of those little. Uh, in your shirt pocket. No, no, no. I usually in my back pocket. I wore jeans a lot, so I have it in my back pocket, mm. and I have a pen or, yes. or a pencil. And then at random times, and then it's sometimes inconvenient times. I think one time I was with around some guys that was, you know, dealing drugs or something like that, and pulled a notebook out, and they were like, "Oh, you know," I was like, oh, "Hey, hey, it's just poetry. I'm just writing ideas down." <laughs> they thought you was annoying. You know what I'm saying? I'm just writing ideas down, <laughs> not taking down anybody's license plate numbers or anything, you know. Um, so, but now you don't need it, uh, uh, you know. But I still like to write notebooks, even though we have phones and stuff to write in. But yeah, so just things like that. So what, what, what are some of the signs of your sweet weirdness? Some of the things that you do that people say oh that's kind of different i laugh at highly inappropriate things oh really <laughs> yes like vibrators and electric uh reggae songs i wouldn't laugh about that you just did i did yeah uh, yeah okay well. oh i think that was a laugh on a was you laughing or blushing you were doing something <laughs> probably a blush okay um i i giggle i don't really like laugh like you know how like you know, like when I was a kid, I never got rid of my giggle. So I oh, giggle. That's a good one. Um, yeah, I'm grown and I giggle. Yeah. Um, I have a hard time walking in a straight line, so I look like I'm. You've never noticed. Mm -mm. You need to. Something wrong with your hip? <laughs> when they take you into the chiropractor. <laughs> no, like it's just kind of like if if somebody says right, walk in a straight line, I kind of go off or veer off. Officer, I haven't been drinking. <laughs> I just have a hard time walking in a straight line. Please excuse me. Um, I, okay. And I, I mean, there are so many weird things about me. But one of the things I would say about me is... Okay, yeah, sorry. Our kids are out here and yeah, um, we're always with them. I would say that's a, a a little bit of a weird type of a trait. Most people aren't with their kids. I got children them. everywhere. I mean, <laughs> the concert, the art opening, whatever it is. Yeah. If you say it's not kid friendly, we're not gonna be there. So right. just let you know that now. <laughs> so if you're gonna invite us, yes. it's gonna be some little kids with us. Um, one of your weird things is that. Oh, see, like... see, see, no, no, no. <laughs> see, see, see what just happened. I asked you. 
What yours was, and then yes. you want to tell me what mine is. Okay, okay, go ahead. I'm listening. One of your weird things mm -hmm. is that <laughs> when you're trying to understand somebody, yeah, you go into this really intense look at people. It's like if they're doing something really strange to you, and uh -huh. you're like downloading computing in your mind, but your mm. eyes are looking at them the whole time, mm. and it almost looks like you have x ray vision. Mm. It's piercing deeply. <laughs> what is going on? You have the craziest legs. And you dance any way you want to. Yes. Which I think is really. I've had that reputation for quite some time. <laughs> it wasn't always cool, but now I think it's in style. Yeah, he dances to the, the beat that's that's playing, and he also dances to the beat that's in his head. And hey. his feet are doing both of those things simultaneously. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, you know. Honestly, I, I, I don't think that some of the, the weird things about... Well, people say that I'm kind of psychic. That's not weird. That's a that's a, like a gift and an ability. That's not anything. That's not... No. I mean, that's something that you have. You are psychic. Okay. What else? I've said it earlier. I think the fact you that... you giggling I, and stuff? No. I think the, the real thing is that I'm able to connect to most people that I come in contact with. Or I'm all so people. can I. That's... Most people are guarded. Most people are not open to me. That's uh, why we were together. <laughs> oh, 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 that's what it is. We both have that in common. Yes, we do. Oh, we're so weird. <laughs> Isn't it nice? Oh, it's so beautiful. So, anyway. So, <clears throat> welcome to Sweet Weirdness. Where um, Sweet Weirdness came about from my art and also just drawing a community you know we live in such a world where things are so where we can be a bit disconnected fragmented yeah fragmented and siloed and i just think it's really important um to <laughs> embrace community mm -hmm. through the arts through spirituality yeah. through um love and openness <clears throat> and not to say love in this like really like oh let's Love, like love is like a really big and full word. Mm -hmm. It's so, it encompasses so much. It's mm -hmm. not just like, excuse me, I'm a nurse. Um, it's not just like light and fluffy. It is really calling, us calling to task what it is that we say that we're wanting and being the change that we want to see in the world and inviting others to do the same. Mm -hmm. And to live unapologetically mm -hmm. and authentically mm -hmm. um, dare I say vulnerably, as vulnerable as you can be, right, mm -hmm. in this world, in this day and time, mm -hmm. and really um, call forth community. And so we invite you to join us on this journey in sweet weirdness. Yeah, yeah. yeah embrace your strangeness. Uh, don't feel... It's not strange. It's not strange. It may feel it may feel strange for people. They may think that they're strange. Their friends may not necessarily relate to some of the things that they may their weird side. People hide that stuff, you know. Um, the the accountant who uh, who rescues um, cats on the weekends. Yeah, you know that kind of person. You know, um, somebody who's making forts in their house. You know, out of sheets and stuff. <laughs> you know, yeah, they're not ten years old. They're they're they're, they're thirty. <laughs> That's, you know, it's like, hey, what is that about? You know, maybe you want to be an architect and just didn't finish the school, whatever. There's so many ways that people are different. We need to embrace difference, harmony and diversity, you know? Like, mm -hmm. it's our differences that make us so special. Yeah. Instead of trying to shut it down, everybody being, like, cookie cutter and having the same style and trying to be whoever the hottest pop, whatever it is, be yourself. But we're really looking for people who are authentically, sweetly weird. Yeah. So, you know how sometimes people work on purpose to be different mm. and look different yeah we're not looking for posers yeah we're looking for people who are absolutely weird yeah like who are sweetly weird that's to be real <laughs> to be real you know people who are sweetly weird and folks who want to make a difference and mm -hmm. who are making a difference people who are making a difference every day of their lives yeah whether or not other people see it you know you don't have to have a whole bunch of people acknowledging what you're doing in order for it to be valid right and so right. those are things that we're looking for so you guys out there out in the world if you know of any sweet weird weirdos or yourself yes tag us link up with us link us with, link up with us check out 
www.sweetweirdness.com. Dot com. Check out the offerings because we made this art for you. That's right. For the sweet weirdo. That's right. That's so, right. 